Assalamu alaikum dear students, uh, welcome to Kin Film Technology course lecture number 20. I'm Dr. Purwes Ahmed. Uh, uh, we are continuing our discussions on the uh, thin film depositions and in this section particularly we will talk about uh, sputter depositions. I mean last time we, we were having discussions uh, about the evaporation techniques so now we will start a discussions about uh, sputter depositions. So let's start our discussion with the sputter depositions. Uh, this is the, the typical uh, experimental setup uh, that is normally being utilized for uh, the sputter deposition. So here you can see that uh, in this particular structures uh, what we have, uh, we normally have a DC uh, power supply. Uh, then we have the electrode. Uh, in this electrode we normally have a target cathode. and uh, you know that one, one electrode is the top and the other electrode is at the bottom. I mean, we are two electrode. One is the, uh, one is the, uh, I mean, this one is the anode and this one, uh, the top one is the uh, cathode. And in between these, uh, we have the argon plasma uh, that normally we call the glow star. And here uh, we have the vapors. I mean, these are uh, the vapors. Uh, and here's uh, we uh, I'm from from here on we, we introduce the the sputtering uh, gas uh, uh, the sputtering gas which is normally the argon and uh, this uh, inlet is closed uh, this uh, this inlet is open towards uh, uh, the vacuum for formation of the vacuum so this is uh, a schematic diagrams of the DC forward uh, sputter depositions equipment so what actually happened in the uh, I mean the in the sputtering so just like I mean, we people. Uh, I mean, we have discussed already in this course. Uh, that is, uh, we have uh, a source material. So that is a target materials, uh, and that target materials uh, we normally have. Uh, I mean, the the uh, the atoms or the material which we want to deposit uh, at the substrate. So what actually we do? We introduce the argon gas. Uh, I mean, the argon plasma and the argon plasma. Uh, the organ ions they are being exhalated toward the target to spurt the atoms and those atoms they are then exhalated toward the substrate uh, to deposit it in the form of a thin field. I mean this is uh, this is somehow the short uh, uh, definition the, so, the short introduction of the plasma. So what actually happened in a more formal way? So uh, normally uh, as you know that uh, we basically uh, need a plasma uh, to make the gas conductive and generates ion that can be accelerated uh, to strike uh, the target. I mean plasma, uh, generation of plasma is the most essential part of any sputter, uh, sputter deposition. So that's why we're saying that uh, we need a plasma to make uh, and why we need a plasma, the, the, the initial subject to the plasma is to make the gas conductive and generated ion that can be accelerated to strike the target. So what happened after that? Uh, for that purpose, uh, we need a high pressures, uh, then evaporations, and that high pressures, uh, it might be in the range of 1 to 100 millitar. Uh, uh, where these techniques uh, we have, I mean, it, it's better, uh, I mean, this technique is particularly better uh, are, are particularly good for depositing allies and compounds in evaporation. I mean, we are these techniques we can uh, uh, we can deposit it. At, uh, we can deposit allies and compounds. Uh, and this is uh, I mean, uh, if we compare the uh, deposition of the allies in compounds uh, where the sputtering technique, so it is far far better than the uh, evaporation because in evaporation we have seen that there exists a problem, especially the stoichiometric ratios uh, of the material deposited is different than from the uh, that of the source materials. I'm said that that was the problem that was existed at evaporation technique. But unlike that, we don't have such a problem uh, when we try to deposit allies and compounds uh, where sputter uh, depositions. So the plasma contains uh, uh, it, uh, is approximately equal number of the positive ions uh, that is argon ions and electrons as well as neutral organs atoms. So typically only uh, smaller than 0.01% atoms are, are ionized. So uh, normally you can see that the targets uh, for the sputter depositions normally come uh, in these formats. So these, these are basically the targets uh, for uh, the sputter depositions.
So a sputtering process uh, can be run in DC or RF mode. I mean, this thing we have already uh, discussed in the introduction sections that we have uh, two main kinds of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the sputtering process. Uh, one is called the DC sputtering, the other is called is RF sputtering. And we have also discussed that uh, in which particular conditions or for what particular purpose we can uh, utilize or we can use the DC or RF uh, modes of the sputtering. So be remember, uh, insulators must be run uh, in RF modes and that we have discussed that why uh, we need this to run in RF mode. So major process parameters uh, included uh, operation pressures uh, that uh, as we mentioned on the previous slide should be in the range of 1 to 100 millitar. Uh, power should be a uh, few hundred watt. For DC sputtering the voltage uh, uh, should be I mean you know that it's reverse bias voltage and should be from minus 2 to minus 5 uh, kilowatt. Uh, addition substrate bias voltage. Uh, substrate temperature uh, should be in the range of uh, 20 to uh, 700 uh, degrees centigrade uh, and additions uh, be remember uh, while utilizing uh, the sputtering process one should remember that in addition to IC industry a wide range of industrial product use sputterings and we, we, we have also mentioned the reason that why I mean as we mentioned about the evaporation uh, and evaporation there was a problem uh, that when evaporation stacking when we try to deposit thin film so there is the possibility of generation of the x-rays uh, which can uh, damage the thin film and that's why we have discussed there uh, that the generation of the x-rays can damage the film uh, so that's why uh, we, we, we have discussed there that it cannot be utilized in IC industry or IC publications so here we say that uh, in addition to IC industry a wide range of industrial uh, product use a sputtering and that those products uh, I mean in which utilize sputterings for their depositions uh, is include LCD, uh, computer hard drives, uh, hard coding for the tools and metals and the plastic. I mean these are all the I mean the, the some special devices that utilize the sputtering techniques uh, for uh, their IC publication. So what it means, uh, it means that it's more widely used for industry than evaporations. Uh, partly because that, uh, that, that for evaporation and uh, uh, why is that for the, uh, that particular purpose because there are very few uh, things, uh, radiant stops to temperatures one can do to tailor film properties. I mean these were the drawback. Uh, I mean uh, when we are saying that uh, the sputtering technique is widely being utilized in the industry in evaporations. So we have to mention the reason that why it's so. So it's because that there are uh, a very few things one can do to tailor the uh, film properties and uh, the evaporation process. Uh, and we have also discussed in the case of evaporation that is the step coverage uh, is very full. And uh, we mentioned there that the evaporation technique uh, it was not suitable for the compounds or alloy deposition. So uh, these are the few reasons and similarly we say that uh, considerable materials are deposited on uh, chamber walls and uh, wasted. I mean these were some of the drawbacks, these were some of the main drawbacks or some of the uh, main uh, limitations uh, due to which uh, the evaporation techniques uh, is not utilized for the IC publication. I mean these four reasons, uh, I mean there, there are so many other reasons uh, because of which uh, the evaporation technique is not utilized for the IC publications. Uh, so and this uh, is why that as an alternative we utilize uh, the sputtering techniques because all these drawbacks uh, they are being covered in the uh, sputtering deposition. So that's why we are saying that the sputtering technique is most widely utilized uh, uh, in IC industries, uh, in LCD computers, hard drives, hard coating for tools and metal on and plastic. So, uh, what are the special advantages and disadvantages of sputtering deposition? So, uh, let's start from the advantages. Uh, sputtering is able to deposit a wide variety of metals, insulators, alloys, and uh, composites. 
uh, replication of the target compositions uh, and deposited film. Uh, this technique is capable of in situ cleaning prior to film depositions by revising uh, the potentials on the, uh, uh, the electrode, I mean, which was not easy in the case of the evaporations. Uh, we are this technique uh, are utilizing this technique uh, better film quality and step coverage than the evaporation. I mean, if you utilize this technique, so by using this technique, we can have better quality and step coverage out than the evaporations. So uh, why is that? Uh, this is uh, uh, this is partly because air atoms are more energetic and film is uh, densified. Uh, by NSHU ion bombardment and it is easier to heat up uh, to heat up to high temperature than evaporations uh, that is a, a vacuum more re uh, reproducible depositions controls uh, same deposition rate for same process parameters uh, that is not true for evaporations uh, so uh, easy film techniques are uh, controls where times I mean uh, th this is the techniques where we can easily control the film thickness, I mean, which was not possible uh, to uh, to monitor or to measure the film thickness in a case of the evaporations. Uh, similarly, this, this kind of techniques uh, can be uh, used uh, uh, for larger area targets uh, for uniform thickness or a large substrate. Uh, sufficient target materials for many depositions, uh, and be remember that by utilizing this technique, uh, there is no X ray. Uh, no, no X-ray damage to the uh, deposit film. So the disadvantages uh, include uh, substrate damage due to iron bombardment, are uh, ultraviolet generated by plasma, higher uh, uh, pressures that is uh, that is from one to uh, hundred millitars. Uh, but we remember that this this is much smaller than ten to the power minus five tar and and, and uh, evaporations. So more contaminants, uh, contaminations almost using ultra clean uh, uh, gases and ultra clean targets. I mean, though this is the, this is an uh, disadvantage, but this uh, disadvantage can easily be overcome uh, by utilizing ultra clean uh, gases and uh, ultra clean uh, targets. The position rate of some material is quite low. Uh, some material, for example, organics, uh, degrades due to iron bombardment. Uh, most of the energy incidents on the target become heat, uh, which must be removed. So that's all uh, we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching. See you next lecture. Till then, bye bye.